Today I'm making an easy vegan blueberry pie with a spelt crust. Oh my God, I love spelt crust, but I love spelt flour in my baked goods. But I'm super ambitious today because this is a delicious crust and it contains butter, of course. That's what makes it so flaky and delicious. But I wanna try one that's oil free, so I'm gonna do a second crust that's made from spelt and almond flour and that one could be gluten-free if you just replace the spelt flour with a regular gluten-free flour. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna do the spelt crust right now. So you're gonna need a food processor and if you don't have one, you can easily do it in a bowl and then you'll just use your hands or a pastry cutting tool, but it's so easy in the processor. So first we're gonna add our flour, whole grain spelt flour I love so much. It's got such a delicious flavor. And then we're gonna add our sugar and our salt. And then we are going to just give that a little whirl around. And now it's time to add our butter. And I'm going to, because I have a little left and I want to use it up, I'm going to add, oh, I don't know, there's probably a tablespoon or two of cream cheese in here. So I'm going to add that in because I don't want this to go bad. And I'd like to use it up and it makes, I've done this before and it makes for an extra soft dough. And when you're already using whole grain flour, you want to do what you can to make it soft and pliable and flaky. There's so many different crust recipes out there. Some people use oil, some people use butter, some people use shortening. So in one little trick, instead of just dropping my butter in there, I could do that and it would work fine. But I am going to cut my butter up into little cubes. And you always want your ingredients cold, cold butter cold water or milk, whatever you're using, but cold. Okay, let's put the lid on. And let's give that a whirl. So ideally, you want some chunks of butter in there. Can you see that? You want these chunks of butter in there because when you roll it out, those chunks of butter are gonna roll out and stay chunky and that's what makes your dough flaky. You don't want big, big ones, but you want them like pea-sized. Okay, so now we just have the vinegar and the milk. I'm using milk instead of water, but feel free to use water. I think the milk makes it softer and flakier, so I like using the milk. And soy milk, to me, just adds one more element of healthiness to it. Okay, so we're gonna need about six tablespoons, and I'm keeping this close by because you never know with flour sometimes you need more and i'm just going to add the vinegar into my milk that way i'm just pouring in from one little container okay so here we go and you can see now it's already balling up like a dough do you see that so that's looking pretty good and if that feels like it's too much liquid, then we can bring it out on the counter. We'll see once I get it out on the counter. Okay, so I've got my spelt flour. I'm gonna give it a little sprinkle on the counter here. I'm keeping this to the side because honestly, we don't probably need it. It's looking pretty darn good. But I'm basically wanting to make sure it just is moist. And you wanna see lumps of the butter in there, which I do see, so that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick it in a fridge for 30 minutes because that time in the fridge is gonna transform the gluten and it's gonna chill the butter again. So let's do that. Okay, now we'll get started on the second recipe. Okay, so this one, we start with the almond flour. And then I'm going to add my spelt flour, salt, sugar and we've got to put a flax egg so I'm going to do that right now. I'm doing it in very cold water because when you make any crust cold is always better. 
Let's get those dry ingredients stirred around. So all we need to do after this is add our flax egg and our cold soy milk, and then we put it in the fridge. And I'm making a double recipe because I'm making a blueberry pie, which needs a top crust, okay? So both of them are gonna be double. Now what replaces the fat in here, because there's no oil or butter, as you can see, it's the fat in the almond flour. So you can't really substitute the almond flour. You can substitute the spelt flour and use a gluten-free flour, like a all blended mix, no problem. But don't substitute the almond flour because you need the fat there. Now you can see that just from the fat of the almond flour, it's easy to get it to stick together. And now while it's running, so I still have about a tablespoon left. That was five tablespoons right there. And look at how nice that is. Do you see? So I don't need any more but this is gonna be good. Now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, 30 minutes, and then we're gonna roll them out. So now we're gonna make the filling and that's super easy. The first thing we're gonna do is add our sugar and I'm gonna just do two batches as I told you. So we're gonna add our sugar. Now we're gonna add our cornstarch. Since I'm making two pies because I wanna experiment with a different crust, this one, I'm putting a few of my boysenberries that I got at the farmer's market because I didn't quite have enough blueberries. But now you just mix this around and you see how it coats all the fruit and all the berries. That's what you want. You want them all coated like that because that cornstarch is what's gonna thicken it and make it into a delicious pie. Okay, let's do this one. Now we're gonna do a little lemon zest. Adds a nice little tang to it and beautiful little color change. I like to add the zest of one medium-sized lemon. Now let's juice that. Okay, let's get that stirred around. I'm choosing to use the sucanat sugar, which is natural dehydrated cane sugar. That's why it's brown, but this is a earthy pie because we're using the spelt crust, so I thought that would be best. That looks delicious. Really nice. Look at that. Nice, nice. That one's boysenberry color. A little sprinkle of cinnamon is always nice in a blueberry pie. So we just give it a little sprinkle and we're gonna mix that in. Okay, time to roll out our dough and I'm gonna do the spelt crust, and I'm only bringing out one of my balls because I want the other one to chill, that I'm gonna do the top crust, probably a lattice crust because they look beautiful with a blueberry pie. So the first thing we wanna do is roll it between two pieces of parchment paper. It's just a lot easier, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of flour, and I'm just gonna make this into a disc, and when I do this, it helps me get started. I like to get it started by hand, making sure that the edges get fixed because you see it's natural to crack like that as you spread it out. So I do a lot by hand because this gets the process started and those cracks won't really matter, but it allows me, ooh, it's nice and cold and I can feel how tender that is. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ultimately, you're trying to get this maybe about an eighth of an inch thin. By turning it, it gets easier to keep it into a circle. And you can take your pan, and as you can see, this is the line I wanna get. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There's a couple places I maybe want to go a little bit more. The nice thing about this dough is it's so soft. But can you see, look, it's about that thick. I think that's looking pretty good. But now we basically lay this on and we're going to flip it over. 
There we go. Push this down in. And now with your scissors or just a knife, you can literally just remove this dough because I want to make a lattice top, so we're not going to need this. Right now, I'm going to put it into the fridge while we do the top. Same thing, only this time, we're going to try to get working a little faster because we need to cut the strips and put them on. And if they get too warm, then it gets harder to carry them over on top of the pie. Take a look at how that looks. Okay, so now it's time to cut our strips. They don't have to be even. So let's get the pie. So I preheated the oven to 400 degrees, and now I'm gonna put my blueberry filling. Alrighty. And the only reason I'm pressing this down to make it a little even because we're doing a lattice top. Let's start with one of these. Fold these two back. Always alternating. Every other one. That looks good. Now you can just take your knife. Okay, now I like to just crimp the edges. You can, some people do it with a, a finger like this and they crimp it like this, which is lovely. You can do it any way you're used to, but it makes for not, like a nice little finished. You're just trying to seal the edges together, but it also gives it a beautiful little finished look to the crust. Summer vegan blueberry pie. There we go. And now it's ready for the oven. But before we do that, we're gonna brush a little bit of milk on it and sprinkle some sugar. Okay, so a little bit of soy milk brushed on the top will help that crust go nice and golden. And I like to sprinkle sugar on the top because it just looks so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees and in about 20 minutes, I'm probably gonna turn the temperature down and then I'll probably put a little foil around it and put it back in because it has to bake a long time for those blueberries to break down. All right, here we go. Okay, and now the same thing with the oil-free spelt crust. Wow, look at this. We're gonna have a blueberry pie feast. This is the spelt crusted one, and this is the oil-free spelt and almond flour one. So let's try it. I ended up cooking it for just about one hour. It's gonna be a little runny because I'm cutting it too early, but leave it in the fridge and tomorrow it'll cut beautifully, but I wanna taste this guy right now. Wow. 
but you can see it's set nicely even though it's a little warm this one's hotter than this one so it's not set yet but it's delicious okay so i want to try the spelt crust first might have to get lloyd down here for this one wow wow it has such a nice tang of lemon with this sweet it's so good oh my gosh that's so good i better not eat the whole piece i gotta eat dinner in a bit all right now this one is the almond flour and spelt crust mm. i'm surprised usually when you make an oil-free or a gluten-free crust it's more like a shortbread cookie and it gets crunchy but this is quite the same mm. wow that's amazing all right i'm gonna get lloyd well the sweet masters here i can't do a taste test of a dessert without my lloyd are you ready i'm ready i didn't have quite enough blueberries so i threw some of our farmers market boysenberries but that one's almond flour and spelt flour and has no oil Good. in a pie and this one is the regular delicious spelt pie crust so this is the, the spelt pie crust you've had this crust before i've made it and then this is the oil free one i think that's pretty amazing mm -hmm. that's a good one do you taste the garden lemon I put some lemon in there. I wonder if I'll be able to taste the difference. Well, normally you would because the crust on the bottom, when it's oil free, is like a cookie and it crunches. But I was able to make it just like a crust. So I'm hoping you don't taste the difference. And I don't think anybody would know the difference. I don't think so either. I'm trying to think of which one you have. You have the oil free one. Mmm. Very good. Thanks, you guys. Please subscribe. Thank I you. I hope you love this pie. That oil-free one's a keeper. Yeah. Amazing. But, and spelt flour and almond flour, so really healthy. All right. Thank you.